It's been so long since I even sat on this couch, y'all. I don't even know how I started videos no more. I ain't watched my videos a bit to know how I was doing this. But let's try to start fresh. It's 2021. What's up? Welcome to my channel. If you are a new visitor, my name is Shay. Thanks for stopping by. If you're a returning visitor, welcome back. I'm glad to have you back. It's been a while, y'all. I know it's been crazy. It's the year 2021. Um, thankfully, we are on new vibes, new spirits, y'all. I'm a Libra if you are not aware. And as a Libra, I have this thing called um, a Libra scale. And so when my scale is out of whack, I am out of whack. I cannot function. Nothing goes right. I'm moody. I'm emotional. I cry a lot. And that's literally what 2020 was for me. Like, I was just an emotional wreck. Like, from the beginning to the freaking end. Like, it was a chaotic year it was so much going on so much so that i really just didn't have the motivation to post i didn't have the inspiration to post anything i really just didn't feel like i was able to provide anybody with any type of insight any knowledge because i feel like i was running kind of on e there was really not much that i could pull from and i was just really emo um everything just seemed like it was just a lot it doesn't matter what it was how big it was how small it was everything just seemed to be too much for me to handle and because of that um i really wasn't able to respond to much in a decent way so how people were able to capitalize off the fact that you know we were home and people were making these tiktoks and stuff like that like i literally wasn't able to do that and i think that it's important for people in today's um, day and age to make it clear that um, mental health and, and really just kind of getting back to you and all that type of stuff is important. You don't have to put on this fake persona, this facade as if you have everything all together all the time. You don't. Um, I didn't. And so that's the reason why I really wasn't here. Um, 2020 should have been one of the most happiest years of my life but um it was just so much going on kind of from beginning to end i had loved ones that were getting sick with coronavirus um i just really couldn't function well and so because of that i was unable to post anything and i just really wasn't inspired motivated to do anything and so um that's the reason why i hadn't been posted um and a part of that or a large part of that was because of me um having to wait so long to take the bar you know um if you're familiar with my story i graduated in 2020 um i actually graduated on may 8 2020 and by then we were deep into quarantine like we were if you're not at your house you should be at your house and you shouldn't be going nowhere because everything's still shut down being in that um there was no graduation and so that kind of started to um the not necessarily depression at that point but that kind of just started me feeling very uh bad or sad about stuff that was going on you know i was i was beginning to be emotional but i still had a great party i had a you know my sister um graduated on the same day as i did so my auntie and my mom and my grandmother you know they all planned a really nice function for us and it was just um pretty much our immediate family and we had a nice um graduation unfortunately my phone broke um and i lost a lot of my pictures and videos so um yeah we had a nice function and that kind of picked the, it uplifted me because i had just come from finishing a whole semester of learning law for the bar exam um online that's crazy i wasn't expecting that and law school online is not easy um so that transition was hard for me alone and then on top of that to not have a graduation ceremony i want to say we didn't end up having an actual they tried to have a ceremony i think in like november by that time the thrill was on and then coronavirus numbers were bad again and so um it was canceled and it just didn't it still didn't go right so um with that being said i was very just emotional i was an emotional wreck and it took me a while to kind of get right so even though i did it right there were other situations that kind of um pushed me over the edge too so it was like that on top of having family members that were affected by coronavirus and really not being able to you know do much and um it just not being what i was used to all that was going on and then you know you have uh situationships that you know you find yourself in and then certain things don't go the right way and then it's like all that added up it kind of like made it to where i literally just and so um, around the time of me supposed to be being the happiest that I've ever been, um, 
around the time that I was supposed to find out my bar results is literally when I had everything like just crumble. Um, that's when I felt my most, you know, insecure, my most down because it was so much uncertainty going on in the air that I really just didn't know how to respond to that. And that was literally last month. I didn't get my results for the bar until December 4th. So literally from like March to December, I was waking up and just being in complete chaos. And there were sometimes things that made me happy. And then when those things were like taken away from me, it was like, it was just horrible. And so I didn't have a proper way of responding to those things. And so I don't want to like, I didn't have any vices or anything, but my, my thing, um, I just became overly emotional. I was overly sensitive. I was crying like practically every day. I, if I don't cry again ever, that'll be too soon. So <laughs> I was just overly emotional again. And it was just, it seemed like everything was just piling up. And so I was literally uninspired to do anything. I, you know, started uh i worked for the election um for like a little over a week that situation got too much um it wasn't really an altercation or anything like that but it was just i was unhappy doing that so for me to be driving 45 minutes every day to and from the uh voting location i'm like first off there are other locations if i really was interested in doing this second off i'm not gonna know y'all talk to y'all be affiliated with y'all in any way after this is over with and three, even though it's decent money, I'm driving 45 minutes away. I drive electric, so my car takes premium gas. It's not adding up for me. So um, after like a week and a half, I quit that job. And then so then I was really just like, whatever, like it's, you know, it's not worth it. And so I stopped looking for anything because most of the jobs I was looking for and applying to um, were saying, oh, you have to be a lawyer. You have to already uh, have passed the bar. And then they're like, um, well, if you want this position, you have to be a paralegal and you know, you're not going to get paid, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm like, all right, well, it doesn't even make sense for me to try to find this paralegal job because if I try to do that, by the time I get my bar results and if they're favorable, I'm gonna wanna go get paid for what I'm supposed to be getting paid at this point, right? Yeah, I really just, at one point, just felt like I was literally giving up on everything. I just really, um, I was uh, unmotivated. I was just down. I was so sad, y'all. I was just so overwhelmed. It was just a lot going on. But, you know, I'm thankful that I have successfully overcome all those feelings and now I feel 10 times better and it really just took time for me to get over everything. Um, I had to understand that you know it's normal to feel as if you know you're not accomplishing what you probably need to accomplish. Feeling as if you haven't done enough because that's really what I was feeling and I felt like there was just so much going on that I could not control and I'm not necessarily a control freak however it's certain things that I feel like okay if this is something that I'm interested in doing and I want it why can't I have it right this second? You know, I'm like, if, I, if it's something that I want right this second, why can't I not have it right this second? And that's what I have to understand. I have to really understand and know that, okay, even if I want something, I can't just try to control it and rush it and be like, okay, I need it right now. You know, even though that's still how we, we rightfully feel, that's how I rightfully feel. If I want it right now, I need to get it right now. But, you know, it's, it's not, that's not how everything works every time. So, um, once I kind of got the hang of that, once, you know, we kind of kicked into the new year, I did a social media cleanse. Um, and I think that it really kind of just reprogrammed myself. And so sometimes you really do have to do that. Sometimes you have to like shut down and reboot and allow yourself to kind of get back to where you need to be. And that's what I did. And that's where I am now. And that's why I feel 10 times better than I did in 2020. So we're going to hope that we can continue this little feeling through 2021, um, keep ascending and and, you know stuff like that and I'm pretty much back so what I'm gonna try to do is upload videos on Wednesdays and Sundays um the time probably gonna vary I ain't even gonna lie because you know it's just me but thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video leave me some comments down below if you haven't already subscribe do so and I'll see y'all in the next video peace out